We make countless choices each day. Coffee or tea, donut or bagel, Chipotle or Moe's. But when faced with challenges, one choice makes all the difference as it has the power to reframe your adversities into life-changing learning opportunities that can lead to explosive growth. Now, just what is that choice? My name's Michael Leon, and let's take a moment to explore it together. Let's tap back in. One person openly weeps as the familiar bang echoes out of their speakers as an email arrives in their inbox, an email containing yet another project that is overdue. Someone else complains to their bartender at their local watering hole about their spouse, how she doesn't give them the attention she used to and is always angry with him. One person sits silently as they contemplate why they can't connect to her estranged sister. She stews in her pain as she yearns to make up with her. She's desperate to connect, but doesn't think she can find an olive branch long enough to close the emotional divide. Most of us can identify with these three people in some way. We've all suffered through similar problems. We've stewed, become depressed, and possibly let them envelop us in their black holes of doubt, regret, and lost opportunities. Here's the tough love, the velvet steel, the medicine each of us doesn't want to hear or take. We made a choice. We chose to suffer. You see, these three people could have made a different choice. They could have acknowledged the suck of these situations and still taken a better action than suffering. When that email popped into her inbox with yet another deadline she might miss, she could have called her boss, explained why she needed some help, and found a better solution that would have alleviated her suffering. She could have reached out to a coworker and asked for assistance. She could have mapped out her to-dos and come up with a strategy to accomplish her tasks as soon as possible. Instead of complaining to the all-knowing bartender, the husband could have picked up some flowers, lit some candles, picked up some wine, and given his wife a spa night. He could have, and this is shocking, I know, talked to her about his perception and they could have worked it out. He could have made the bold choice to talk to a therapist and figure out what he's doing that might be making the problem appear bigger than it really is. And finally, the estranged sister could have picked up the phone, dialed her lost sibling's number, and simply said, I'm sorry, or I miss you, or let's fix this. Now, any or all the solutions that we just discussed might have worked, or they could have been utter failures. However, the difference is that these individuals made a different choice. They took action. They chose to seek rather than to suffer. They actively chose to seek solutions rather than suffer through the, the manure of life. You see, when you choose to suffer, you are choosing to tap out of life. You tap back in when you make the choice to seek solutions. And we all like to wallow now and then. It's normal. Venting is healthy. And that's okay. But here's the trick. Take five. Set a timer. Take five minutes to feel your pain. Argue with the unfairness of the world. And shake your fist at the heavens. When, when the timer goes off, you're done. That's it. You've allowed yourself to embrace the anger, frustration, and suffering. Now, choose to seek solutions. Suffer or seek. The choice is yours make a different choice. Tap back in.